You okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a funny feeling. I apologize in advance for the noise that the air conditioner is emitting. It's hot in here for Kristen Stefan Zampino because she's a big fat wuss. Anyway, hello people, I'm Javi Kuwait, joined by Kristen Stefan Zampino, back yet again before she leaves forever. Uh, we're looking at It's Entertainment with Akshay Kumar and Tamina Bhatia, my uh, current crush. Uh, offend, offend, offend. I try to combine the words official and Hindi. Official Hindi film trailer 2014. <laughs> Entertainment. I don't understand what's happening. I don't either. But I think he's really cute. Oh. There she is. I'm in a body. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> so what is is him against the dog? That's a cartoon. The war begins between him and the dog. What the hell? Is this Noah's Ark? What's going on? <laughs> this is an insane movie. What is happening in this story? I can't. I'm confused. Okay, that was stolen from Kung Fu Hustle. Oh. Okay, this is making more sense. Okay, I, now I get the inspiration. This is very much like inspired by uh, his name Steve Chow. It's entertainment. I don't know what's happening in this movie, but it's fascinating. I want to know more. Yeah. Uh, I'm confused. But... I'm listening. Well, I'm just like collecting my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, so Stephen, Stephen Chow is a Chinese actor, director, producer, writer who does like the craziest cartoon human stories ever. Like, Kung Fu Hustle is a classic. It's a Kung Fu movie, but it's like a cartoon. You're literally watching like a Bugs Bunny or a Warner Brothers Looney Tunes okay. brought to life. Fine. But like with human beings and martial arts. Okay, okay. And, yeah, it's fascinating. And all of his movies tend to be like that. It's making so much sense why this movie is the way that it is. It's a war between a man and a dog. It's like a cartoon. Well, I understood that. Yeah. I understand it's between a dog and the man. Yeah. And they're competing. And then after that, I was like, well, what else is that? It just but escalates. Then, but then they kind of become a team. Well, by the end, by yeah. The end. Well, by the end, yeah. The dog wins him over right? by the yeah. end of it. That's what happens in these, like, American 90s type stories. That's what I've been seeing more of lately. Because in the 90s, America used to have experimental weird comedies. Yes. Like Air Bud, where the dog plays basketball. Hey, that was a great... So I've, I never saw it. But, like, you, you, had, you had weird concepts like that yes. a lot. Blank check. Like, there are these weird 90s concepts, and you just don't see them anymore because everything is, like, based on a book, based on a comic, based on a show, or based on something or another, or it's an indie movie. You don't have these, like, cute things that are just made for the family anymore. This just escalates in a way that 
And like it's insane. He's literally like dealing with something that you'd only see in Noah's Ark, right? So all the dogs are in front of him. Like what the hell's going on there? I can't even make sense of this. Ak Hill, an underdog and a failure, comes to know that his real father is a rich diamond merchant who has just passed away. When he goes to retrieve his wealth, he learns that a dog has inherited it. Oh, that oh. makes so much more sense. Now I get it. That's terrible. <laughs> That's kind of great though. But that actually sounds I like something. Like that it. sounds like such an a, a trivial American move. Doesn't it? Like that sounds like something a wealthy American would do. Like Barbara Streisand, I would see. Her, I could see her doing that. I could see you totally empathizing with what I'm about to say. But I think Barbara Streisand was on Oprah or one of those day, daytime talk shows, and her dog had just passed away. So she had this whole montage for her dog, and she's like, you know, isn't he beautiful? And like the entire audience is watching. So I get you having an affinity for your pet. I get it, but it's just a little odd to have like a live television, daytime audience, and you have this montage for your pet. It's just a little bit odd. Or at least it would, you know. I get the love, I get the love. You know, I do it. Yeah, I do it, I know and everybody you would. go, oh, like. I know you I think, would. I think you're just a little jealous. I'm not jealous, it's just you're weird. It's weird, just like cooking food for your dog is weird. It's like dogs are supposed to eat, what? No. Dogs are supposed to eat dog food. Their their bodies are not made to eat. Yeah, but you can make human food. Food for dogs. That's dog food. Yes, they're not supposed to have these like specially cooked meals that are generally reserved for human beings. Their bodies are not made to eat that kind of stuff. What? What do you do? I mean, Kona eats everything. All right. <laughs> she eats carrots. She, does, like... she eat, does she eat chocolate? No. Okay. You can't feed a dog anything you want to. You damn well. No, please. you can't. Yeah. But if I'm having like ribs or something, right? Yeah. I save those and I give them like the bones to her. That's fine. That's not the same. That's not what I'm talking about. Sometimes I make it look. It's just I, it, the the concept of this is not that far removed from reality, though. Is all I'm trying to say. Like, why don't you give all that money to the poor? Why are you giving it to your dog? <laughs> because they're so cute. Oh my god. I could see myself making a move like that, but more for like the comical like aspect of it. I think I would do it just because like I disappear, I die, and then they'd be like, damn it, Kristen, like you you really did go there. And I'd be like, ha ha, yeah, I did. <laughs> what? What was the last laugh? Take care of her. <laughs> because when she goes, then it goes to you. So make sure you take care of my dog. That is not what was indicated here. I know, but I'm just saying. You know what it also kind of reminded me? It reminded me of a few different, like, like you said, older shows. Well, like, like 90s, it's 90s like that, concept yeah. films. Like this is the kind of stuff you'd see in the 90s. For us, the 80s was a lot of bravado action movies like Arnold Schwarzenegger well, and Jean-Claude Van Damme. Well, had a little Richie Rich vibe in there too. Sure, yeah, the 90s. You know I mean? yeah. That's still the 90s though. Like the 90s was full of those kinds of quirky comedies that you'd find. Cool Runnings, that's from the 90s. Like you wouldn't see that movie today. A movie about <laughs> a Jamaican bobsledders? I would watch it. I know, but they wouldn't do that today is what I'm saying. They did it in the 90s because that's when they, we were most experimental with our comedies. Like we yeah. were just trying to figure our way out. And so. I'd watch it though. Yeah, I would too. I'd I mean, I loved, I loved Cool Runnings. I loved it. I thought that was a bit like, ugh. I just watched it the other day. Oh yeah? Yes, and I died laughing. <laughs> Die. It's just a fascinating idea to execute. Like looking at Akshay Kumar's filmography, I'm like, I just never know what he's gonna agree to. I never know what kind of movie he's gonna do. And I will say, I'll co-sign on what you said. He looks really good in this trailer. He does. He I looks mean, really in, good. In general, he looks he looks good. He looked especially good in this trailer. I'd say hi. <laughs> I said, what's up? And I, and I understand your girl crush too. Oh yeah, Tom she and Abatu, was, yeah. She was gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. I was watching a film that she was in, because I had seen her before, but I didn't realize I'd seen her before, so I was watching this movie with a friend of mine, and she, my friend is bi. And so I look at my friend in the middle of the movie, I'm like, you, you see this, where she's like, I see it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Because it's not just me. No. I've tried to hit her up on Instagram, on Twitter. To, you to try get, to hit her I, up. I try to because, like, that's what I do. In an effort to interview, in an effort to interview people, I thought maybe I have Did a she shot. Write back? No. Oh my she's, God! Yeah. Right back. She's What's the, going on? She's the one celebrity that I have not been able to connect with. I don't know if she just doesn't like what I do. She's one of the few celebrities that's like, yeah, I don't. She hasn't maybe even. I'll try to hit her up. She hasn't even <laughs> entertained the notion of saying hello. Anyway, it's fine. Maybe she has like you know just too. Many Akshay things. Kumar has acknowledged Jabby Kawe. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm saying. If Akshay Kumar can acknowledge Jabby Kawai, why can't Tamina Bhatia acknowledge Jabby Kawai? Why not? Why maybe, not? Maybe she heard too many of your girlfriend's stories. Maybe, that's entirely possible. <laughs> it's entirely she possible. She's gorgeous She's, though. Uh, yeah, she gorgeous. is gorgeous. I'm not, like nothing will take that away. This has a four and a half out of 10 on IMDb. So I feel like though, despite its low rating, this is a movie Kristen Stephenson Pino would not only watch, but she would love it. 
<laughs> Probably. I feel like I this is so. your kind of movie. Like as I, soon as I saw I, the dog, I'm like, oh, this is a wrap. Like I, it doesn't I'm even matter done. if this is nonsensical for the rest of the trailer. She's still gonna be intrigued by it enough to watch it. <laughs> but also, because, like, I mean, not only that, the main guy. He's, I, I mean, I just watch it for him, and then I take notes on the beautiful. <laughs> you know, like you just. He's, I'm gonna stop. Can you repeat that? I don't know. I didn't make out any of that information. I was talking. Well, no, they just have some good looking people on there. Mm -hmm. And all I'm saying is I would take some notes on some like maybe some outfits, some makeup, and yeah. then kind of like drool a little and like. I didn't really understand Tom and Abatia's role in this. Oh, the dad wanted her to marry the dog because the dog's wealthy. I'm just trying to understand things. So please forgive me if there's, if I'm yes. speaking out of pocket here, like completely ignorant. There's this tradition in India where and I, I just watched this on a show on Amazon where if a family has bad juju, mm -hmm. like bad energy or whatever, in order to offload that, they'll have the girl marry a tree. What? And That's then, a thing? And, okay. then, and then they'll get remarried again with their actual husband. But now the tree has absorbed all of that bad juju. So what's the tree? Do, think, but then what, what do you do with the tree after? But I don't imagine marrying a dog is an actual thing. It's just a crazy kooky movie. Well, maybe, you know, okay, well, if she ends up marrying the dog, maybe it's not really to marry dogs, just to get the inheritance through the dog. And then it's like the tree. Then you divorce the dog, and then you can marry Akshay Kumar. I don't know what to make of this. It's just a crazy movie. And like that thinking. Noah's Ark moment just blew me away. I'm like, <laughs> someone paint, had to painstakingly repeat the dogs. Cause like, if you mm -hmm. look- Yeah, just you can see the other dog. They, the they, had like, they had like three dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and they just kept repeating it for the entirety of the shot. I don't even know if those trees are accurate, like, or if those trees are real. I, th no. I think the trees are being repeated it's too. They just tried to fudge it and make it work somehow. Because you see the same dogs yep. and the same trees, like the same positioning of the trees and whatnot. Anyway, uh, it was a fun trailer at the very least. I don't know if the movie is going to be a, a, a pain in the butt to watch or a, a lot of fun. Woof, woof. Imagine us so, watching that movie together, though. I can imagine whether, that being whether, a whether, it, whether it's amazing or not, I think we'd laugh regardless and then think it was amazing. There's a lot of free movies that you can watch on India, from India rather. This you have to pay for. Oh. So they value it enough that you have to actually pay to watch it. Four and a half, you know, stars out of ten be damned. <laughs> the movie's got some clout, it's got some uh, monetary value to be gained from it. 